What is up my packet people? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at a key logger that was exfiltrating usernames and passwords over FTP. Uh, to get the PCAP, thank you to Brad at malwaretrafficanalysis.net uh, for letting us use this packet capture. Let me show you where to download it. So if you go ahead and head out there, malware-traffic-analysis.net, and you come in here to 2024, and the one that I'm taking a look at is this one right here. This was posted on September 17th, 2024. And again, just wanna thanks to Brad, send a thanks to Brad uh, for posting these, for the world to be able to use, and also for us to talk through them here on this channel. So go ahead and download uh, this PCAP and you can follow along with me. So first, what is the snake key logger? Well, I found a pretty good write-up for us and this is over at Fortinet and basically this is is a key logger that does target Windows users. And uh, typically phishing campaigns is how it's spread and malicious, in this case it was an Excel document, uh, but it could be some other document uh, that has been compromised there. So that snake key logger, it gets installed without the user knowing and the keys that you enter on your keyboard are collected and then exfiltrated to the attacker through to the, that waiting listener. So over PCAP, over this packet capture, we can actually look at the traffic and see how this worked. So opening up the PCAP, if we just take a look here, so I'm just going to uh, start up up at the top here, just going to jump, use my green button, jump up the top. And we see when we start off that the client, the infected client is going out to check IP dynedns.org. Okay, so goes out and it gets that domain uh, looked up and then after that it does a handshake to that IP and it's just doing a general get and it comes back with get okay so uh, typically with these types of services check IP what the client is doing is it's trying to get the address that it appears at publicly so this is a private address space 10.9.17 this isn't an address that's actually going to be routed out into the internet Instead, it needs to be translated into a publicly routable IP. So first thing it needs to know, let me just right click this, I'm gonna to go to follow TCP stream and you can see uh, it's knocking on the door of that service and the service comes back and says, great, current IP check. Hey, client, here is your IP address. 173.66.146.112. That's how you look to me. That's what the server's saying. And it does that check more than once. It does this one, then this one, then this one. So the server, or, or rather the, the infected device here, is checking to see how it looks on the outside and does it several times. That's kind of suspicious, isn't it? Like why would a client typically need to know how it looks on the outside? Hmm, that's just something that we can file away. All right, uh, it's okay, so I'm going to close this off. Next, if we come down uh, after a little bit of time here, I'm actually going to do what I typically like to do, and that is take a look at my conversations. I'm going to go to TCP. And here I can see a couple of uh, HTTPS conversations, and I have this port 21 and these other uh, one-off ports, these high-numbered ports uh, that are here. So that's kind of interesting too. So I do see FTP, uh, that port 80, it looks like that was that check-in to that domain, uh, 443, so a couple other things. So let's go ahead and keep going here. All right, so next we come down here and we're uh, looking up FTP Life Changers Care. Interesting, We this is the actual server that we're talking to. The actual server is pure FTPD. Username, Chucks at Life Changers Care. Password is this one, nice. All right, so we can see that in clear text because FTP is a clear text protocol. Uh, just when it's just raw FTP with no encryption, uh, we can see that username and password. But what we're interested in is if I come down here, uh, we can see here's passwordsid.txt. So this is what I'm interested in seeing, like that actual, um, this actual file, okay? So that's a request, response, accepted data connection. So the act actual FTP data here, this is what I'm interested in seeing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click, gonna go to follow TCP stream. And this is where we can see that the client is sending this out to the waiting server. All right, so this is the date and time it was sent. This is the client IP. That's part of why it wanted to know what its IP address was. So, hey, waiting attacker, this is how you can get back to me. Uh, this is where I'm coming in from, latitude, longitude. But this is some of the credentials that were captured. So an Outlook 
URL, email, and password. Uh, Chrome, here we can see, or an Edge Chromium uh, uh, browser. And then we can see a couple different usernames and passwords and what, what host we were talking to uh, with that username and password. Right, so that's pretty interesting. So that's all being sent out to that waiting FTP server. Now, another thing that you can do with Wireshark while we're here, uh, if I come up here, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna go to File, and I'm gonna come down here to Export Objects, and I'm gonna go to FTP Data. And right here, I can see that there was two files that were sent out. One was Passwords, that's that one that we just looked at, and the other was Cookies ID. Interesting. So uh, you notice in the background, I, I clicked on that text file and it jumped to the first packet that contains that file uh, in my packet capture. So I don't have to go hunting for it. Wireshark already found it for me. Now, just because I'm working with malware and working with uh, this keylogger, I'm not going to save and open that text file. If you do that, you're on your own or do it in a very controlled environment. Um, if you work it just with the packets themselves broken up, you should be safe, you're fine, but do not extract and uh, use these files directly unless you really know what you're doing. Instead, what I'm going to do is come back here. I just want to right click. I'm just going to go to follow TCP stream. And this is where I can see cookie data that's sent out to that waiting uh, attacker there, that threat actor. So I thought I would just share this with you. I thought it was interesting. A recent post out there at malwaretrafficanalysis.net and just showing a keylogger in action. Uh, so really watch what you click on. Watch what you click on. Watch what you open, especially when something's emailed to you from somebody that you don't know who they are. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. See you again.